friend gave me a book recently called Theology of the Icon by Leonid Uspensky. And I was just so impressed in the first couple of chapters that I've read by his definition of symbolism. But before I get into that, I want to give the backstory. So the person that gave me this book was an apprentice to Uspensky, who was a liturgical artist who made wood carvings. He had a contemporary named Lossky, who strongly encouraged him to write a book. And Uspensky said, oh, what do I know about books? I'm an artist. That's what I do. But under Lossky's constant encouragement, Uspensky said, okay, fine, I'll do it. And he committed to doing it with his wife. And the way that it was described to me, the dynamic went like this. Uspensky would say, ah, ooh, there's this quote that would be really good for this subject right here, what we're talking about. And then his wife would say, ah, not to worry, I'm off to the library. And she would go and she would read the manuscripts and turn page after page after ancient writing and say, ah, that's it. And she would go home and say, here's the quote. And he'd say, yes, aha, we're putting it right in here. And so it went in the creation of volume one and volume two of this book. Chapter one is entitled, The Symbolism of the Church. And it begins like this. Before we begin our discussion of the icon, it is necessary to consider briefly the whole of which it is a part, the church building and its symbolic significance. What is symbolism? Symbolism expresses indirectly through images that which cannot be expressed directly in material or verbal forms. Being a mysterious language, symbolism also hides truths which it reflects from those who are not initiated and makes them understandable to those who know how to approach them. Everyday language frequently confuses the ideas of sign and symbol. As if they were identical, in fact, there is a necessary spiritual distinction between them. A sign only portrays reality. A symbol always qualifies it in a certain way, bringing forth a superior reality. To understand a symbol is to participate in the presence. To understand a sign is to translate an indication. Let us take the example of the cross. In arithmetic, it is a sign of addition. As a road sign, it is a symbol which expresses and communicates the inexhaustible contents of Christianity. In the church, symbolism plays a very important role because the entire church is, in a way, both material and spiritual. That which is material is directly accessible to us. That which is spiritual is indicated through symbols. The symbolism of the church cannot be effectively studied outside of the liturgy because it is a liturgical symbolism, and it is through the liturgy that the fathers explained it. Separated from the divine services, symbolism loses its meaning and becomes a series of sterile abstractions. Wow, so already within the first page of chapter one, so many things are coming to mind. I think of the conversation that I had with Neil DeGrade of Dirt Poor Robbins, who said, the symbolism of music, music is presenting reality, or it's presenting that which is beyond our five senses. Also, of course, uh, the way that he's described material and spiritual makes me think of Matthew Peugeot's work, The Language of Creation. Uh, I have a three-part video series that goes way into more detail of that. I'll link that to the description below. But just how symbols are this microcosm of part spiritual and part material. You can see it, you can engage with it, but it's pointing to that which is beyond. Also, I really like how it was describing this. It reminds me of C.S. Lewis. And C.S. Lewis said that, yes, we exist in a material realm. However, this material realm is imbued with spiritual, or it is infused with the spirit. A beautiful picture. What did you think about the definition of symbolism that Uspensky gives? Let me know what you think in the comments below. To support this channel, please click the subscribe button to be notified of future videos, as well as click the like button and share it. Share it with friends, share it with other talk groups that you're involved with. Till next video.